welcome back to Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. It's right, I'm doing really good and I'm blonde for summer and I'm loving it. Platinum baby! So, sorry, today I am making bonfire night soap and it is going to be a man's soap I guess, but I'm sure some chicks will like it too. So come with me and I'll show you how I make it. Squee! <laughs> Okay, so first things first, we've got our cooled lye water and we're adding it to our cooled oils and goat's milk. And we've got our regular combination of oils here with olive and coconut and rapeseed and soya bean and some cocoa butter and some sunflower oil. And yeah, so I've got my little blend there. So what I've done is I've got some yellow clay. It's a yellow Australian clay. And I've also got some white titanium dioxide and some black activated charcoal. And I'm gonna split them out into three colors. I'm gonna be adding poppy seeds into some of it. And I'm gonna be scenting it with a fragrance called Rodeo Leather which to me smells a bit like Cade oil, which is an essential oil that is very good for removing dandruff out of your hair, but it has a very strong smell that a lot of people would describe as smelling like burning, like a, or ashes, a lot of people describe it as smelling like. For me, it actually reminds me of my childhood because my dad used a special shampoo when I was a kid called Polytar, and it smelled like that. It had this like funny sort of smell, which is the Cade oil. It's an active ingredient, really helps with flaky scalp, or dry flaky skin so yeah so this fragrance oil that's called rodeo leather it's supposed to smell kind of like a saddle shop and it definitely reminded me of this of this kind of burning thing this cade oil deal which is why i called the final soap bonfire night and the little flecks with the poppy seeds in there will be a lovely exfoliant but they will also hopefully represent little flecks of you know um rocks and stones and bits of charcoal in a fire so yeah really cool having a lot of fun with this one one because it's not one from my regular line it's like a, a bit of a challenge and a little bit something new I've been finding lately that I've been kind of sort of almost feeling a bit stuck in a soapy rut where I've been doing the same soaps over and over again because they're the ones that sell you know so from a marketing standpoint it makes perfect sense but from a hobby standpoint not so much so it's nice to do something new and it's nice to challenge myself so all the colorants are getting mixed I'm not going for like a real black here I'm going for sort of a gray because I want those poppy seeds to be visible I want them to stand out and um, the fragrance oil is beautiful to work with even though personally I don't like the smell so I'm struggling a little bit smelling it all the time and smelling it in my house and in my soapy room while it was curing so that was sort of a, a bit of a challenge for me that I had to kind of get over but I've already found some people love it and some people don't and I think that's one of the interesting things about making soap or anything scented is learning about different people's preferences some people love lavender for example and other people feel sick when they smell it it's so interesting to me we're all different and that's part of what makes it interesting so the poppy seeds went into the black portion and into the yellow portion but not into the white and I only got a small bottle of the scent because I was just trying it out I've never used it before and I used it all up in this one batch so it got equally shared out into the three jugs um the reason I was telling you how it stayed really good is because it did it was nice and fluid I put a tiny touch of cedarwood essential oil in there to try to brighten it at the end that's what that last bottle was and now I'm just going to go ahead and pour the soap squee
love Maybe this is So I'm going for a nice mantra swirl along the top now and I'm doing a big loaf and a small loaf as you can see and then I'm going back and actually doing a feather swirl through it. But yeah, so the one loaf is my regular bars and one loaf is the wholesale bars. And I'm just going to probably sprinkle a little bit of poppy seeds on the very top and that'll be it. I don't think that, that it needs any toppers or anything else so that's, you know, Pretty much done look at that i didn't even sprinkle any poppy seeds on top wow that shows restraint <laughs> i usually find it really hard not to you know embellish <laughs> so i'm going to go ahead and use my awesome super fantastic multi bar cutter that my wonderful husband made for me thank you big b and cut these beautiful soaps and see how these swirls turned out I really love them it's a gorgeous drop swirl and I didn't go through and hang a swirl it like I usually do so you actually get to see the unchanged effect of just pouring the soap directly in the mold I really like how they turned out I think the black specks are awesome I like that I like it from a design point I don't particularly like the scent but I have already found a couple of people tell me that they love it so like I said earlier Everyone's different, and that's what makes the world so interesting. <laughs>
right. So yeah, these are the final soaps. They didn't discolour anything from this. They look exactly like this, and I love them. And this week, I'd like to highlight the super groovy Frankie Firefly. Look at her amazing ladybug bath bombs. I love them. She posted this picture in our group over on Facebook called Star Soaps Family. And guys, I'd love to have you come and join because I love to see what you create as well. Everything that you guys post inspires me and then I get to inspire you and it's this wonderful relationship that we have and I love you guys my soapy fam all right well if you like this video and you want to see more like it hit that subscribe button baby become a member of our star soaps family and feel the soapy love